Hey guys, welcome back to another Sinful Saturday. We're back again with some more Undertale. Of course, for you guys who aren't in the know, Sinful Saturday is my once a week stream where I like to give back to my viewers a little bit and play some games voted on by you guys because my chat means the world to me. But what's good, guys? Yeah. No, I totally agree with you, Beyond. Sushi and pizza are pretty damn good. Yeah, it's kind of a bummer. Uh, I kind of overslept today, and I missed uh, going out for ramen with a friend of mine. So I'm kind of beating myself over, uh, up a bit because of it. But uh, hey, we're here for some Undertale. Hopefully this sick soundtrack and good dialogue can cheer me up. But let's head back into it. Uh, of course I have the ghetto 
laptop setup again because if I don't play this game in full screen, I'm totally doomed. <laughs> it just feels really, really awkward. So uh, let me just pop open the full screen. Let me just remember what button it was. There we go. And I'm going to be reading everything off my laptop from here on out, so no previews. But uh, I believe what happened last time was we beat up a training dummy possessed by a ghost and then Napstabluk showed up and uh, hooked us up. Uh, after, of course, some random stuff happened with Undyne. Just gonna get my bearings remember the controls again. It has been a week. You feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. Alright. Let's go... Well, Napstabluk went that way and invited us to his house, but let's go look around first. Hey, it's that duck from uh, across the way. This little bird wants to carry you across. Um, so I've played Pokemon, and I know you can teach a Pidgey fly, and it can fly you across the world, but this duck, I don't think you can carry me, little duck. I'm just glad I didn't have to work over tonight. That's good beyond. Well, at least you're here for some Undertale. Hope you enjoy, man. Accept the bird's offer. Uh, who am I to crush people's dreams, right? What? This little duck is a, a freaking hero. Also, they took me way further than they needed to. Like, you could have put me off over on this edge. I would have been okay. You took me way further than necessary. You, you, sir, you're great. <laughs> the Tales of Blunder. Yes, it is Destiny. So I'm at home watching this fine stream and playing Fallout 4 and some other games. Sounds good beyond. Fallout 4 is on sale right now. I should probably pick it up, but I'm freaking broke, so... <laughs> Oh, we're back here again. Right, because that's where we saw the duck. And he's chilling here, so we can go back. Awesome. And this is the guy who was threatening to murder us. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Yep, we remember. Um, so one thing I figured out the other day is... Well, let me figure out what button was my inventory. We got this dog residue. And that scene that like made me lose my life. So what I can do is probably use this box. I'm gonna deposit all this. And then I'm gonna go back. And I'm gonna use the dog residue. It's gonna make a cute little barking sound. The rest of your inventory filled up with dog residue. Yeah, I feel you, Sin. I just paid my rent and school tuition, so I'm broke till I get paid this coming week. Ah, man. It's a hard, hard life out there. So we got three dog residue and some salad and some more residue. So I think the salad heals me. To full? It could just be random and I got lucky the first time, but I can, like, store the dog residue and then keep using it. So, yeah. Let's get rid of some residue. Do I have a limited amount of space in the box? Is that how it works? Okay, this isn't Dark Souls. This isn't a bottomless box. Uh, a little bit disappointed in that. Uh, I guess we'll swap some residue for some healing items then. We'll take the bicycles. Get rid of this residue. Just sell the residue to Temi. But what's a Temi? So is this a pacifist run? I haven't killed anything yet, so I guess that would technically be a pacifist run, huh? I still don't know what to do with the snowman piece. I gotta show him the world. Maybe I should keep him in my inventory just because. And I'll take a extra... Eh, I don't really need to take another residue. If I get low, I'll just use this one. Nah, I'll take two. Who knows? Apparently there's some kind of Temi running around.
If there's no words to describe what Temi is, and there's no words to describe what this duck just did, uh, Undertale's gonna be an interesting game. So I guess I'll save right away, because, you know, why not? You feel a calming tranquility, you are filled with determination. Let's go. Hey, it's a training dummy. Um... So I know the antagonist we've been running from is like Undyne, and Undyne are like fish people. Vaden Kessler. Temi is rated 10 out of 10. Temi is best Temi. Oh man, Vaden. I can't wait to meet this Temi person. But uh, there's the dummy. And like I was saying, we were being chased by an Undyne. Undyne is like a fish thing. This house is a fish. This is fish bone... Uh, uh, okay. What? 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 Oh my god, that's the same dummy. It's a living. It's a living. Dude. Doesn't seem like anyone's home. It's very disturbing. Is this her house? Well, see, here's the thing. Like I said, like, this is just my random knowledge of monsters and such, but an undyne is a fish person, usually like a fish lady. But the undyne we're being chased by is like a suit of armor that throws lightning like Zeus. So, <laughs> I'm not sure if I, I'm, if they're being accurate here. Um, there's a sign here. North Bluk Acres, East Hotland, question, question, question mark, Temi Village. Uh, I kind of want to go to Temi Village. I see snails. This is Napstabluk. Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean... Welcome to the Bluk family snail farm. Is this where, um... What's her face? Goat mom, Toriel, gets her snails for the snail pie. Yeah. I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Um, sorry about that one. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. Really, I'm working. I don't want to be the boss to get mad at me. I, I don't want the boss to get mad at me. Especially since I'm my own boss, yep. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. The ghost mom propaganda. Ghost mom, goat mom. Propagandas. Going all crazy. Snail snail, a long journey extends in front of you. Snail snail, reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. Snail snail, so snaileth Sam Yol. Those are some great words of wisdom. I'm gonna save you for last. This snail is counting dollar bills. I've been long overdue for a second house. Did, did the snail sell it to this thing? Alright. <laughs> I like your headphones, Napstabluke. Do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. Isn't that, like, kind of rigged? It's 10 gold to play. Ah, yeah, whatever. Okay, press Z repeatedly to encourage your snail. Ready? Ooh, thunder snail. Every time I encourage him, he just stops. Snaps the look, you've rigged this. He's not even moving anymore. Now he's upside down. Now he's in a, now he's on fire. Oh, looks like you're encouraged snail too much. All that pressure succeeded, really got to her. Oh. And now it's back to normal. You know, I'm gonna throw 10 gold away, and I'm gonna spam Z, Z, whichever one you prefer, if you're not Canadian. 
and don't say Zed. I don't even say Zed. I don't know why I said Zed. But okay. We're gonna encourage, like, the wind. And also the wind. I'm hoping it, like, rockets off and just wins the race. Everything else got faster. Please, sail. No, okay, that didn't do anything. <laughs> I just blew up another snail. <laughs> Alright. This is relevant to you right now. I don't want to know what that is, Sophie. But I'll click it. <laughs> That's pretty good, I must admit. I remember the snail races, the great snail races. Oh, naps to bloop. So this one's more dreary, so I kind of assume that's his house, but what's this one? It's locked. Guess we'll never know. Beat's pretty good considering how slow it is. Oh, you really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. <laughs> this CD is labeled Spook Tunes. Play it. Oh, it keeps going. Uh, so, while I was listening to that, I was just kind of like under the impression that um, this song like reminds me of like a mix between something in Disgaea and like the Inspector Gadget theme song. I mean, I haven't heard the Inspector Gadget theme song in like years, but it's giving me vibes of that. Spook Wave. Play it. <laughs> It's the same song. <laughs> spooky is spooky. That's a good Poro. Welcome back, man. This one's like not even gonna be spooky. This CD is labeled Golden Music. Gulliday. Is it gonna be like Christmassy? It's a spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. I remember that bake sale. It was a good time. Oh, this one. Once you learn the lyrics, it's hard not to sing along. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Wait, does he say something different for each one? Dang, that ambience. It's like my whole body is being spooked. I feel you. Oh, a classic spook tune. They don't make songs like this anymore. No, they don't. The computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. Cool stuff. The Temi village is waiting. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? Sure. It's a it's rude to decline such a gracious host. You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh. Never mind. 
After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Sure. Okay, follow my lead. So we used to like do this, um, this exact thing in my theater class. What's good, Baldwin? Long time no see, man. Welcome to Sinful Saturdays. But uh, here's like a little random story. So we would do like uh, de-stress therapy or whatever, like uh, which we'll call it gradual muscle relaxation therapy and stuff in my theater company. So uh, we would all just chill out, lay on the ground. Uh, my teacher would just randomly like say stuff and like encourage you to relax, and uh, we'd just lay on the floor. And most people would like fall asleep or feel like totally refreshed. And I didn't really buy it at first, but it really works. I'd highly suggest it if you can try it out. Just, like, look up some muscle relaxation thing or whatever. But then again, Napster Blue doesn't have any muscles. So I don't know how this is gonna go. I've been busy, boss. I missed you guys. I saw the VOD when you killed me in Darkest Dungeon. I was heartbroken. I'm sorry, Baldwin. But I'm glad that you're watching the VODs, man. I've missed you. Welcome back to reality. Well, let's lie down. So, only move around when you want to get up, I guess. We're gonna chill out, guys. Whoa. It's almost like... Us lying here on the ground. We're just but a humble speck in this great cosmic stardust that is the universe. And that lying here, totally still, you feel a part of something bigger. Like you are becoming one something much larger than ourselves. Like you tap into all of the world's energy and further beyond. To the point where are these conscious thoughts your own? Or are you just sapping them from another station? Or you can just get up, and then it all comes back to reality. Oh, and oh, there goes gravity. <laughs> well, that was nice, thank you. It was a pleasure, Naps to Bluk. Mm. Hey, the music came back, too. <laughs> What's good, Sayla? I'm gonna keep working on that mix CD. Sounds good to me, man. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it, sometimes. Uh, I'm gonna keep working on the mix CD. Is that it, Master Bluk? You done? It's empty. Makes sense, cause ghost food? This would not be possible in a genocide run? Interesting. The replayability of this game must be pretty good. I guess we'll leave. Can we go in here now? Nah. So what else do we have left? I guess I'll save the game so we can all remember that tranquil feeling of uh, Naps to Bluk. That's back in the sewer. Don't really care about the sewer. Hey, another box. Got two slots in this one. But I kind of want to keep all of this. Actually, no. I'm going to get rid of one bicycle thing. Because having an inventory slot may kill one handy. Who knows? Oh, there. I've got some neat junk for sale. It's a archaeologist turtle. Good stuff. 
Is this your first playthrough of the game? Yes, it is beyond. Having a good time, though. Looks like a crab. It's a crab apple. CT? I have to buy it, because it's tea. Um, cloudy glasses, minus two defense, invis invincible longer. Okay. Minus five attack, invincible longer. Well, I'm not attacking anything, so I might as well buy the notebook. You're carrying too much. There we go. Exactly what I was trying to get at. Ha, huh, I'm trying to get rid of ju my junk and not get more of it. Though, I've heard if you want to sell stuff, the Temi Village is your best bet. Where is it? I don't remember. Alright, looks like I have to find the Temi Village to sell stuff. Let's talk to this man, maybe he's got a hint. About yourself, I've been around for a long time, maybe too long. You are a turtle, and an archaeologist. Studying history sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. Wah -ha -ha. Wah. That emblem... Oh, you mean like this one right here? I didn't even notice that until now. Eh? You don't know what that is. What are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? <laughs> What's good, Jorun? Welcome back, man. How you doing? That's the Delta Rune, the emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. Wahahaha. <laughs> Great name, huh? It says, I always say, Old King of Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. That's a great saying. Emblem's meaning, new. I wonder... I gotta touch it, right? That emblem actually pre uh, predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangle symbolizes us monsters below, and the winged circle above symbolizes something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. The prophecy? Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it, an angel who has seen that the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been talking a bleaker outlook. Taking a bleaker outlook, my bad. Calling that winged circle the angel of death. Oh man. A harbinger of destruction waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. Good guy, turtle. Let's talk about the king. King Fluffy Buns? He's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. That's good, because I'm kind of like marching to his palace, aren't I? If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Interesting. Eh? Why do I call Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it. Good on you. But if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered it by then. Alright, that's like... Directly telling me what to do there. About Undyne. Undyne, yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch your back, kid. I'd buy some item- and buy some items, and might just save your hide. Wahaha. Be careful out there, kid. Let's go store something in the box. Uh, get rid of the CT for now. And we will buy this notebook. Because although we're not attacking... I mean, if we're not attacking anyway, I might as well buy something that does something, apparently. Even though I'm not exactly sure what the extra invincibility will do. Info. Torn notebook. Weapon. Attack 2. Contains... Illegible scrawlings increases your invulnerability by six. You equipped the torn notebook. Old turtle, I don't remember. Yep. We have ballet shoes, I totally forgot about those. We were using them as a weapon. Now right, let's go down here first. Looks like the ocean. Can we click on anything? It's gotta fulfill my Pokemon Red tendencies of clicking everywhere for hidden items. 
watch, even though I'm clicking everywhere, I probably missed something that I actually was supposed to click on. But it seems like we kind of come back there later. I really love this track. It's very, like, dulcet and, like, calming. Hurt, beaten, and fearful. For our lives, we surrendered to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. More flowers. There's only one way to reverse the spell. If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. I can't go down the waterfall. But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There's no way a human could come here. A. Hey. We will remain trapped down here forever. Wait. Oh, you can slow walk out. That's interesting. It's probably like some kind of invisible bridge later though. Special enemy Temi appears here to defeat you. It's a Temi. Temi. Check. Rated Tem out of Tem. Loves to pet cute humans, but you're allergic. Woah, woah, ah, 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 ow! Smells like Temi Flakes. What is this Temi? Feed Temi Flakes. Well, you said Temi Flakes. Temi only wants to eat. Only wants the Temi Flakes. No, Soul Hunger dies. What? That's so annoying. Temi vibrates intensely. Good old Temi. Let's talk to Temi. You say hello to Temi? Hoi, I'm Temi. Alright, I think I figured out how to do this combat now. Temi is doing her hairs. Ooh, girl. We flex. We fle you flex at Temi? No, muscles. Not cute. Oh, I have to disagree. <laughs> oh, it's Aaron. No! <laughs> Just the two of us, huh? What? I killed Temi, guys. I feel the worst. No. I'm running. You run away with 0 EXP and 30 gold. Alright. I killed the Temi. Temi did not like the muscles. Secrets. It's the Temmies. Nah, Temmie is fine. Temmie is Temmies. Is Temmies is Temmies. Hoi, welcome to Tem Village. I'm gonna save before I talk to Temmies. You feel something. You're filled with determination. No, determination. Tatemis. This is the site of Tatemic proportion, propor, proportions. Hoi, I'm Temi, and this my friend Temi. Hoi, I'm Temi, and this is my friend Temi. And that's also a Temi, don't forget my friend. Hi, I'm Bob. I like you, Bob. Rich history of Tem. They're like cats that ride dragons. Pretty badass. Hoi, you should check out Tem Shop. Yeah, I agree. Should check Tem Shop. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Humans, such a cute. Such a cute. 
Tem, watch egg. Egg will hatch. Tem, proud parent. Uneven. P, Tem, heard human allergies to Tem. Dad okay, Tem understands. Tem, also allergic to Tem. Also, I noticed there's a Temmy in the wall now. Feeling of being watched. Hi, Hoives. Mushroom dance. Mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean. Um, it symbolizes my inner torment trapped here by my uh, high fee. My struggle to pull away, my struggle to escape, but alas, to no avail. Um... He's got a better view of this. <laughs> if only I could see the world above, but even if the barrier was open, how would I leave? Same thing. Statue of Tem, very famous. Very. It's a hard boiled. Oh, it's a hard boiled egg. Alright. I see what Temmies be up to. You feel something, you're filled with determination. Alright, let's go to Temmie Shop. Hoi, welcome to the Tem Shop. Oh, this song is so ear bleeding. Alright, I'm gonna- I'm gonna talk first. Hoi, I'm Temmy. Hoi, I'm Temmy. Alright. About yourself, Hoi, I'm Temmy. Temmy history. Us Tems have a deep history. About shop. Yeah, yeah, go to Tem shop. Tem flake. Heals 2 HP, food of Tem. Tem Flake on sale. Heals 2 HP, discount food of Tem. Tem Flake expensive. Heals 2 HP, food of Tem expensive. Tem pay for college. <laughs> college Tem pursue higher education. You don't have the mums. I wanna go to college, guys. Whoa, bagfuls. That face. Look at that face. When you click that. <laughs> Alright, let's sell the stuffs. This dog recipe is only worth one. Hey, Tem College, please. I would like to. I could literally sit here and constantly sell the dog salad and pay for her college if there's no hard money limit. I'm that crazy. I will do it. Let's sell the more expensive residue. College is expensive, it's not like I would know anything about that because government is my dad. Oh man, destiny. Whoa! You got a dog residues. Hmm, I gotta have that dog residues, but I gotta pay for college. Hmm, <laughs> Tem always wanted dog residues. Tem buy the residues for five gold. I feel like I can keep saying no and it's gonna go up. But at the same time, I kinda wanted this to be nice. Cause it's Temmy. Alright, Temmy. Thanks, purchased. No. Say no. Too late. We can have the dog salads. No? No. You gotta scum the system. I know I gotta scum the system, boy. That's true, I do have another res. I can just pop this res and then get more res though, can I? Use the dog residue. The rest of your inventory filled up with dog residue. Save scum it. 
Is it really that important that I save Scum Temi right now? Oh, uh, you guys, you're breaking my heart here. I have another residue in this box, right? I have like so many residues. I have residues for days. You are losing money. I guess she only does that the first time, huh? Think about Temi armor. What the hell is Temi armor? Alright, guys. I'm gonna save Scummit. Just for you guys. Let me relaunch the game and do all that stuff and make myself all sad and rip off Temi. How's Temi gonna pay for college? Man. Whoa! You got a dog residues. Hmm, I gotta have that dog residues, but I gotta pay it for college. Tem always wanted dog residues. No dog residues. But, win win. Temmy armor is best armor. Is Temmy. <laughs> that. See you guys, you made her like all sweaty and like fidgety. Okay, 10 by dog residues for 8 gold. No, thank you. You will regret this. What? Win mostly us. <laughs> guys. Alright, so I sold... Oh. Let me get rid of my ballet shoes, because I don't need those. No? What did I do? You only decline once. Alright, let's do this again. Jeez, guys. You're breaking my heart here. Do over. Fine. Chat, man. They say be nice to the Temmies, then don't be nice to Temmy, and then do the Temmy, and then Temmy is Temmy, is 10 out of 10. Alright. But the Temmy said I would regret this. I kinda wanna see what that would entail. Alright. Whoa! Yes, residue. Do, 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 do. No, but. Okay. Now Temmy is all kinds of happy. Do, 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 do. Sin, you're doing a legit NL throw. <laughs> Oi, I'm Temmy. What's good, Vaden? Again. <laughs> Stop. I don't want to lie and throw. Alright, let's sell the ball shoes too, because I could use the money. So now, real talk. Do I sit here? You gotta pay for the college. I'm paying for the college, guys. I'm giving her college and the dog residue. After you hit 2k. Now we can pay for the college right now. It'll be the most boring thing on earth. But chat can just like li watch me sell dog salad to her for the rest of my life. Let me store my snowman piece. Give me some tough gloves because I can sell that. But we're gonna sell her dog salad for days, guys. It might take you forever. It really might. It's not like it matters. I wish someone would pay for my college. Maybe one day beyond. Maybe one day. How's it going, dude? I'm doing all right, uh, Vaden. I'm doing a lot better. All right, let's let's sell the salads, guys. We're gonna be here for life, and it's your fault. Tough glove. Astro food. That ten shop, boy. A lot better. Yeah, a lot better. There is Temmies. Alright, let's store the snowman thing. I... this is gonna take a while, guys. Whoa, you got dog salads. 
Hmm, I gotta have the dog salads, but I gotta pay for college. Tem always want dog salads. Do I say no again? But, but. Alright, 13 gold. We moving up in the world, guys. We got the dog salads for sale. Dun, 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 dun. We don't have better do, just do it, and, it, and you are doing it, yeah? I bet you didn't expect me to do it, huh? <laughs> now I'm giving her, like, way too many dog residues. Yeah, I just keep one residue and then I just multiply this forever. And then we just, like, become really sad because I have to do this for the rest of my life. I am poor and a minority and the financial aid sent me a letter saying they were gonna cut how much I'm awarded. Ah, it really, really blows me on. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Hopefully the suffering I'm going for for you guys is worse. Worth it. Do, 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 do. All kinds of residues. No salad. Whoa! You got dog residues. Oh my god. Guys, I keep doing this. I feel like something's gonna go wrong. Every time she, like, does that thing that makes me, like, question whether I did the right choice or not. Alright, how much money do I need for her college? Uh, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. No, don't do it beyond. That's not about that. We're not about that life. <laughs> no, I'm a citizen of the US. You will clinically go insane. I probably will. This is like madness right here. I'm gonna just sell everything. Forget it. I don't need stuff. I need the snowman piece, I think. Yeah, thousand years later. Remember guys, you brought this upon yourself. I'm selling the stick, even though I wanted to keep the stick. Uh. Whoa! You got bicycles. I gotta have the bicycles, but I gotta pay for the college. Temi always wants all the things, guys. The way this country's going soon, I might move to Canada. I'd be happy to have you here, man. Sell the stick. I did sell the stick. We got dank cash for the stick. Boy, is Temi's. Dog salad. Reza dogs. Reza dog sleeper. Yes. We've had this conversation a million times, Temmies. But sure. We're almost there, guys. Halfway now. Is Tem a dog or a cat? Or in order around things near her head, hands, or ears? So many unknowns, why is she crazy for dog stuff? I'm not sure. If you get born in Canada, Finland is Canada too. Oh man. I need more dog salad game. Hook me up. <laughs> I 
dun 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 Whoa, is the dog solid? Yes. No, thank you. Thank you. Dun 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 We're halfway there, living on a prayer, you yeah. know? Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, whoa, dog residue. Alright. Guys, I don't know what I was expecting today, but it wasn't this. I can tell you that much. Whenever she buys my stuff for more money than I would have sold it to her three seconds later, it feels good though. We're almost there, guys. After this Tem will have a giant dog residue mountain. Yep. Just pay for college and move on with our lives. That's the plan, Selfie. Unless there's more nonsense coming up later. Dun, 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 dun. I didn't get any salad. Sad boys. Just remember, guys, you brought this upon yourselves. You're driving me insane, but you gotta watch this as well. Hey, we got salad that time. Yep, it's all worth it in the end. Let's hope so. Dun, 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 dun. Salad hype! So many salads! The ward is so good. I hope so. I think the worst part of all this is this song has now become whatever to me now. Oh crap. I didn't sell her to the thing. Whatever. I'm fine, right? Hopefully. She got a job as a lawyer and you gotta be there for her first case. Oh my dear god. We're so close. Just give me the salad. Hey. The salad. Not really though. Alright, Poro. Just a hundred more gold, guys. Strange XCOM mission, definitely stranger. It's pretty damn strange. I have no idea what's happening anymore. My life has been a lie up to this point. It's a good thing we finally had a extra, like, 
out of body experience. We've ascended, we've transcended to a new form of enlightenment earlier. So I'm capable of doing this nonsense. Just give me salad game. That's all I want. We've all lost control of our lives. It seems like that way, Vaden. Salad from a dog. What am I doing? What are we doing? Uh, yeah, that's right. I'm doing me. Also, Temi. Alright, one more wave. I was gonna say one more wave if we got lucky, and we definitely did. Alright. College, guys. Whoa. That's a lot of months. Can Tem really accept? Okay, is Tem go to college and make you proud? But she left face behind. What? Alright, she's back for it. Tem back from Cool Ed. Tem learned many things, learned to sell new item. Oh my god. No! Snake, stop! Stop, guys! I'm so sad. <laughs> uh, I'm buying the templates. Give me the templates. And I'll sell back the template. Hoi! Oh. Everything I know is gone. <laughs> Can I just like buy it? Can you just like give me a break, Temmy? You don't have the months. No, I don't. You got your work cut out for you. The Temmy armor is really nice. 8,000. That's it. You can do it. If you die, the price will decrease. Really? Alright, that's interesting. Alright, never again. Though I gotta pop this dog residue because I have no healing items now. And this time it gives me so many salads. I see how it is, game. Hail Tem, my god, what's happening to me? But yeah, as Kalkir said, if you die, the price will drop. You don't need it. Alright, I need it. Dun, dun. How much does the price drop? Wait, you sold the stick? Yeah, I did. Someone told me to sell the stick. Bum, 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 bum. Just jump off the cliff. Can I just like force random encounters? Some songs are the same in this game. Yes, they are, laser. I didn't want to sell the stick, but it was worth 150 gold. It's Mold Smalls. I don't think Mold Smalls can attack me, can they? Nah, I was- I was like, yeah, I don't really want to- what the hell happened to Mold Small? Moldabug gyrates reservedly. What the hell? Moldabug, attack 18, defense 18, one size greater than Mold Average. Slime sounds. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna unhug you. You don't hug Moldablug, it appreciates your respect of its boundaries. Slime sounds. <laughs> Moldbug is your soul. 
Oh boy. Alright, let's... Mercy. Uh, I probably would have been better off just fighting things. Holy crap. That was brutal. I'd like to go this way, please. Game. Time, move on. Yep. I'm trapped. Oh, let me run. I don't have time. Don't slow me down. Alright, what's going on here? Oh, right, I can just go up around, can't I? Is that how it works? Alright, that makes so much sense. Alright, now I'm confused. No, I just don't know anymore. Leave the mushrooms on and head up. Alrighty. You can't leave that way, mate. <laughs> Alright. So all the mushrooms are on. I'll just leave. I don't want to deal with you. I'm so tired. <laughs> and I sold the stick. And I don't know what the stick did. Is the stick truth? We'll never know. Wait, so I can't leave from here? Now I see a new path now. Alright. Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters use crystals to navigate. There are pinks. Trap forever with the Thames. No, please. No! <laughs> Get away from me! Go away! I don't want it! I don't want it! <laughs> my feelings. It's vibrating. You say hello, it says hoy. Hoy is the way that Temmies greet you, and I am so sad. Thank you. Uh, the stick was like a one damage weapon. The stick was for a special robot. Yeah, I'm like, where did this stick come from? It must be important. We're going torchless, guys. Who needs torches? Hoi, hoi, hoi. Now it's dark. Behind you. Who said behind you? Uh, I don't want to deal with you right now. You know how many Temmies I bought college for? Seven. That's how many. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. We will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. I feel like you're gonna tear it from my body here, regardless. Undyne, I'll help you fight. You, yo, never mind, yo. You did it, Undyne is right in front of you. You've got front row seats to her fight. 
By the way, the Tim armor makes the game super easy and is why not to use it. Thanks, guys. Thanks. And I got rid of the stick, which probably did something cool. Who is she fighting? Hey. You aren't gonna tell my parents about this. Are you? Do I go in the tall grass? No, I go up. Flowers. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm. If I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? You hear a passing conversation? Of course I won't laugh. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. You hear laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. You hear a passing conversation. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish too. So no, the stick doesn't nothing. Eh, however, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface. They will return and underground will go empty. But it was my stick, guys. I was the one that was going to take the stick to uh, Dumbledore or something. I don't know. Uh, yo. It's Charlie Brown. Yo, I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now, I mean, Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. Spoken like a true five-year-old. It's my stick. Yep, yep, say something mean so I can hate you. Please. I can't speak anyway, but whatever. No. Yo, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I... I hate your guts. Man, I... I'm such a turd. I'm gonna go home now. I mean, hoy. Yo, wait, help, I tripped. You clearly, like, made a conscious choice to go down there. Help the little booger. Yep. Yo, dude. If, if you want to hurt my friend, you're gonna have to get through me first. Run, run, run. Alright, I need some tea. I've been dealing with the Temmies too long. Oh, that feels so much better. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. And your shirt. Most importantly, your shirt. I guess being enemies was just a nice thought. Well, just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Later, dude. <laughs> I had a parent once. She was a goat. Soul. <laughs> It's a cave. Uh oh. Seven. Seven human souls and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand. Goal what? All these monsters seem super incompetent. No wonder they lost the surface around this place. I don't know what's going on. Definitely true changer. 
Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as it's customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. Oh, please, just go ahead. You're gonna kill me. You might as well inform me of what's gonna happen. It all started long ago. No, you know what? Screw it. Why should I tell you that story when you're about to die? That's the attitude I like. Get right to it. Oh, you are a fish. Awesome. I was right. Also, big thanks to Rob Watch for the follow. Really appreciate it, man. Hopefully we can get through this encounter. You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alfie's history books made me think humans were cool. With their giant robots and flowery swordsmen. But you... You're just a coward. Hiding behind that kid so you could run away from me again? And let's not forget your wimpy goody two-shoes shtick. Oh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know what? Would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead. That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment, even me. It's not like six human souls would already be enough to kick this shit on the surface. Very true, giant robots and family swordsmen equal anime. I'm definitely aware of that selfie. But we're not nervous at all. We humans are anime. But that means people die when they are killed. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Damn, that's more anime than anything I've said so far. Now human, let's end this right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, she's giving me the chance to save. The wind is howling, you're filled with determination. Alright guys, it's so weird they address people by their souls and not their appearance. Hey man, sometimes this is what a colorblind society would look like. They would be fish knights hunting you down with lightning bolt spears. That's it, then. To the hamlet. Oh man, Vaden, uh, Kelsier. Thanks for the follow, man. Really appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Welcome to the Army of Sin. But there's no more running away. Here I come. Ooh, it's all wavy. And now I'm green. On guard. Check. 50 attack, 20 defense, the heroine that never gives up. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on, you won't last a second against me. That was easy. Undyne holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. Plead. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. Not bad, then how about this? Oh, okay. It's like DDR. Smells like sushi. Aw, oh, yeah. Give me that salmon nigiri. I challenge you. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy, the bullets get faster. Oh, shit. For years, we've dreamed of a happy ending. Just challenge her mercilessly. Smells like sushi. Alright. I accept this challenge. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy, the bullets get faster. And now sunlight is just within our reach. Whoops. Messing all kinds of things up. Undyne flashes a menacing smile. I got rid of a bunch of my healing items. This is bad. You eat the dog salad. Oh, there are bones. You recover two- Oh no. I won't let really you snatch away from us. Undyne thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. Give me another salad. There we go. Oh, fried tennis ball, your HP was maxed out. Pretty sure they put their soul into this whole surface battle when they lost. Yep. Yeah, enough warming up. Whoops. Ow. 
Undyne bounces impatiently. So I can run away now, right? Because I'm not green. Don't worry, Selfie. I already thought of it. So I just keep trying to run away, I guess. Skills, you won't get away from me this time. If I use the dog residue, will fill my inventory again? Use the dog residue. The rest of your inventory filled up with dog residue. Alright, honestly, I'm doing you a favor. No human has ever made it past Asgore. That's fast as hell. Undyne flashes a menacing smile. I suck at FFR, so this is like really bad. I love rhythm games. I'm just really awful at rhythm games. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy, the bullets get faster. Killing you now is an act of mercy. Undyne flips her spear impatiently. Alright, you tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. Well, let's get unfair. So stop being so damn resilient. Ow! The last one always gets me. Alright. Run away. Escaped. Flee! Flee! Aw. You've escaped from me for the last time. Alright, I got one salad. You eat the dog salad. It's literally garbage. Your HP was maxed out. Alfie, Alphys told me you humans were the